Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel. In today's video we are doing an Ulta beauty haul. I am so excited. I was looking through the new Ulta section the other day and um, some of the things in there had to come home with me to review. I'm very excited about the contents of this box and seeing whether or not these products work for me. So if you guys love hauls, if you're excited for this video, don't forget to give this one a thumbs up and let's just go ahead and get started. All right, so first things first, I got this new KVD Beauty palette. I'm not gonna lie, the artwork was definitely what got me with this one. Just look at how amazing the packaging of this palette is. It is called the Moon Garden Vegan Eyeshadow Palette. Let's go ahead and open it and see. The actual packaging of this palette has that same really beautiful artwork and then once you open it, oh it's stunning. Take a look right here at the shades that you get. I'm pretty excited about these olive green tones, the yellow, the orange. I just think that this palette is so, so beautiful and I can't wait to try it. Also, once you open it, I just noticed, look at how beautiful the inside packaging is as well. What a stunning palette. And I don't think I've seen anyone talk about this one. I honestly don't remember seeing it announced on Trend Mood even, and it is so beautiful. I got something else from that new KVD collection. I got this eyeliner right here. It is called the Tattoo Pencil Liner, and the shade is Bronze Gold. Here's what the eyeliner looks like once you open it. From Tarte, I got this holiday set right here, which I have been dying to try since I first saw it. It has four different color lipsticks in here. The retail price for this one is $39, and I have been dying to try the Juicy Lips from Tarte, so this was just the perfect way to do it. And something else I got from the Tarte Holiday Collection was this cheek palette right here which looks spectacular. It's $39, which is definitely not bad for a cheek palette. Take a look at how spectacular this packaging is. I am mesmerized. And once you open it, it has some really beautiful, very wearable cheek shades, one bronzer and five blush shades. I love it. So, so pretty. I saw this brand called Bubble on the Ulta Beauty website and I really wanted to try quite a few of their products, but the one that piqued my attention the most was the Wipeout Makeup Remover. It just says use one to two pumps on fingertips to gently massage and remove makeup from face and eyes and then wipe off the excess and here is what the actual bottle of the Bubble Wipeout looks like. Here's what I'll do with this one because I don't want to wipe off my makeup in this video. I will leave a pinned comment down in the comment section below letting you know once I used it tonight how much I liked it, if I liked it or not, and how easy it was to take my makeup off with it if it was. Whatever the case may be, I'll just let you know my experience with this one down in the comments. And then I saw a whole bunch of super cute holiday goodies from this company called Sweet and Shimmer. And the original price for them was like $2.99 for like each little product, but they were having a promotion, which I'm not sure if they're still having, but if they are, I feel like it's a great way to buy little knickknacks for the holidays. They were having a promotion that when you bought five, you could get them for a dollar, so I bought five. <laughs> Let me show you what I got. I got this peppermint baths fizzer right here for taking baths and look at how cute the packaging is super super beautiful for the holidays and for a dollar just one dollar i also bought the winterberry bath fizzer and i just love the packaging of these so much i feel like these would be such cute like stocking stuffers for a dollar <laughs> come on they must be wrapped in plastic inside of there because I can't smell them. Also from their bath collection in the same scent, Winter Berry, I bought this bubble bath thing. I think it's so cute, super adorable. It's like a champagne bottle. And then I just figured that I would like the Winterberry scent more than the Peppermint scent. So um, more Winterberry things. This hand lotion right here 
which I actually plan to give to my mother-in-law for Christmas. And the last thing I bought, I had to get five items in order to get them each for a dollar, was this right over here. This is the Sweet and Shimmer Nail Buffer. I don't have any nail buffers, so I needed this one. And honestly, the only thing I didn't love about my experience, because definitely getting those items for a dollar each was great, was that I actually had either six or seven items in my card, but then the sixth and the seventh were $2.99 each instead of also being a dollar. And so I ended up removing them because I honestly didn't need them. <laughs> but I would have liked that, you know, once you pass five, everything was a dollar. That would have been really nice. Anyways. If you're interested in these, everything of course is going to be listed and linked down below. All of the makeup I'm about to try and all of these sweet treats right here. And I'm pretty excited for them. I just think that they make such good, cute little Christmas presents. And they're extremely, extremely affordable. You can even do like a basket with an assortment of those products in there and give it to someone for the holidays. Anyways, let's get back to the makeup because I am dying to try these products. Before I start putting it on my face, let me go ahead and show you swatches of this Tarte Cheek Palette. I think it's going to be so beautiful. I have tried Tarte blushes before and I love them. So here's the shade Polished, Refined, Facet, and Gemstone very pretty very wearable shades which you guys know is one of the things i love most in blushes <laughs> something that is nice and buildable and that it's not too much all at once the last blush color is Lux. these are super creamy and then this is the bronzer right here which is park avenue princess this shade of bronzer has been a bestseller for tarte for so many years so just take a look right here at the swatches of this palette. Very beautiful. First things first, with my refer number 37 brush, I'm going to grab Park Avenue Princess because I love me some bronzer and I need this on my face right now. <laughs> this Park Avenue Princess bronzer is perfection. It's not too cool toned, not too warm toned. It's nice and pigmented, but not too pigmented where it does too much too fast. And it has the most beautiful natural finish to it. It's not a fully matte bronzer, but it also doesn't have a lot of shine to it. So it just looks pretty much like skin. See, you can definitely see that it has a bit of like shine to it, but it's very, very natural looking and it doesn't look sparkly at all. So take a look, here is the Park Avenue Princess Bronzer fully applied. Totally love the way this looks on my face. Let's move on to some blush and I think I want to go with Lux down here. And I'm just going to pat it on my cheekbone. That was more pigmented than I expected, wow, very nice. So a little bit more Lux over on this side, over the bridge of my nose. And take a look right here at how absolutely stunning that looks. With whatever's left on my brush, I'm just going to go around my forehead, right on the edge of the bronzer, so that it looks a bit blushy up there as well. And my chin, why not? <laughs> okay, so love, 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 love the way everything looks. And you guys saw the swatches for the rest of these blushes. This is definitely a great, great little cheek palette to have, to gift to yourself or to someone else. Amazing quality. I was not expecting to love the packaging as much as I love it. I already have fingerprints all over it, but it is just so freaking lovely. I'm in love, obsessed with this packaging. I can't stop staring at it. <laughs> Time to move on to this KVD Beauty eyeshadow palette and I definitely want to do some swatches before I put this on my eyeballs. So to swatch it, I'm going to go across from top to bottom, right? So the first three shades are Floral Eclipse, beautiful, Petal Nebula right here, and Lunar Soil which is this really nice warm mid-tone brown. Then we have Saturnia Moth. I love that mustard shade. Crater Heaven, 
really, really beautiful olive green and moon groove, which is our first shimmer. Not bad, really stunning color for sure. I just love this color story so far. Then we have Orb Weaver, which might just be my favorite shimmer from this palette. I love how deep it is. Bloom Face and Astral Oasis, which I'm very excited about. I just love teal colors so, so much. That is lovely. On the last row, we have Vulpine Aura. We have Dark Side Tide, which is a beautiful metallic blue. And I was totally about to complain about all these fantastic dark shimmers with very light matte shades up here to pair them with, but there is a black shade in this palette, which was definitely very needed, and it's called Void Pond. Not the smoothest black I've tried, but as long as it's buildable, we are all good. So take a look right here at the absolutely stunning color story in this new KVD Beauty palette. I don't review KVD Beauty palettes that often on my channel, first, because I don't think they launch that many. Second of all, because they rarely attract me as much as this one did. I think this is an absolutely stunning color story, something you can wear year round and a color story that is bold and colorful and beautiful but that at the same time you could make very wearable so overly excited about these shades right here and i cannot wait to put these on my eyeballs let's go ahead and start playing with this palette i have my refer number 15 brush and just because i'm wearing this olive shirt i'm going to do something that kind of matches it i'm going to start with the color saturnia moth right up here this mustardy yellow shade and well, this is pigmented with my refer number 15 brush. I'm going to blend this shade all throughout my crease. Just back and forth diffusing everything. Really stunning mustardy yellow. I'm liking it so far. That blended out so easily. I am obsessed. So let me just go ahead and do the same thing over here. For step two, I'm getting Crater Heaven. And I'm going to put that color right here on the outer third of my eye and build it into the crease ever so slightly. I wanted to use this color because it matches my shirt. <laughs> and so I'm just back and forth blending it back here. I have not used KVD Beauty eyeshadows in years. And I have to admit... I love, 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 love the formula of these matte shades. So far is incredible. I don't wanna darken things up too much, so I don't wanna use this black shade. And I feel like the rest of the colors in here do not match my shirt. So I'm just gonna go with this shimmer here and do the most boring look I could possibly come up with in this palette <laughs> and with this stunning color story. But anyways, I'm going to tap that shimmer green on my eyelid. And I'm just using my finger for this. I'm going to use a brush to define things in a second, but the finger works great for packing it on. So now with the refer number two brush, I'm just going to define the upper edge a bit and pack some more of that color on. For my waterline, I'm going to use my eyeliner that I got, which by the way is retractable. And so I'm just going to back and forth glide it down here. And I'm also going to smudge this eyeliner in between my lower lashes. It is such a beautiful eyeliner color. I love it. With a refer number three brush, I'm just going to smoke the edge of the eyeliner a bit. I'm making things even over on this side. And with a refer number 13, which is a teeny tiny blending brush, I'm going back with my mustardy shade and I'm going to smoke out my lower lash line with it. Just very softly underneath the eye. So take a look right here at how stunning this looks. I'm obsessed. Back with my mascara on and it's finally time to try the Tarte lip products. I'm first going to swatch them and this is probably the one I'm most excited about because it is a very beautiful, boring nude. This is the Juicy Lip in the shade Ginger and here is what it looks like swatched. I am obsessed with how shiny these are. And you click them up, you don't twist them up. Here's the second shade, Cranberry. I did that wrong, here we go. So this is Cranberry right here. So this next one is an actual lipstick and this one you do twist up, it's in the color Rose. Oh my God, that is beautiful. And it is more pigmented and less shiny 
than the Juicy Lips. Lastly, the set also comes with the Lip Plump. I'm going to twist it up and I'm just going to put it up here. Oop, there we go. So that one is the Plumper in the shade Cherry Blossom. I actually thought that I was only going to like one of the lip colors and the other three were going to be beautiful but like a bit too dark for me but I was so mistaken. This is the only dark color in the lip kit. The other three are very very light colors which I'm loving. So I'm going to try the lip plumper first. This one like I said is in the color Cherry Blossom and you have to be very delicate with these because they are extremely soft and a little bit goes a very long way. So take a look, this is the lip plumper right here. Really nice, cool toned, light pinky shade. It doesn't quite match this eye look because this is so warm and this is so cool, but a very, very beautiful nude. And I mean, you could wear it with this eye look because it's not that big of a deal since it's such a nude lipstick. I love it and I feel this really nice minty sensation with it. Next color I wanna try is the color Cranberry. Even without a lip liner, which is very surprising to me because I definitely thought that we would need a lip liner for these. And I mean, I would still prefer it with a lip liner, but since I'm just swatching them on my lips for you, even without a lip liner, <laughs> um, they look quite incredible. And this color cranberry makes your teeth look super white, which is very exciting. I want to try the lipstick next. This one is in the color rose. Also a cool toned shade and also very stunning. Ooh, take a look right here. This one's a bit more pigmented, so it needs even less of a lip liner if you ask me, and I really love this shade. These definitely turned out a lot better than I expected. Like I said, I thought three out of the four colors were on the dark side, and it turns out that they're all really light, which is my favorite. You know I am basic. And last but not least, Ginger, which is a little bit of a warmer shade, so I left it for last because I feel like it's going to match this eye look. I'm going to try it on without a lip liner first, but then I do have a lip liner I can use with it in case I want to. Mmm, it is so pretty. Take a look right there. I am going to use a lip liner with this one. Just to define things a bit, this is my Natasha Denona in the shade Natasha. And here is what it looks like with just a little bit of lip liner on. Honestly, this was such a great haul. I have no regrets. I pretty much liked every single thing I bought. The most surprising were these because I wasn't expecting to like them as much as I did. Like I was expecting to love the formula for sure, but the shades were a lot better than I expected. I don't know, the swatches kind of threw me off online. So I highly recommend if you've been wanting to try these Maracuja Juicy Lips to get the little kit because all of the colors are pretty awesome in it and you save some money. You can also break these apart in two sets of two so you can spend $39 and then divide them in two and they come in their own individual packaging so if you're trying to gift these to someone you can split them up totally obsessed with this cheek palette much better than i expected as well i love the formulas of the blushes the bronzer is pretty great and the packaging is unexpectedly stunning the tattoo pencil liner from kat von d was pretty good as well but nothing out of the ordinary i would say if you have been wanting a super light bronzy eyeliner pencil go for this one otherwise you know there was nothing over the top special about it but it was a nice to have and lastly i could see why this stunning palette has been overlooked with all of the amazing releases that we've gotten as far as palettes are concerned during this fall season however i'm definitely very glad that i picked it up to show you guys because it is a stunning palette i really love the formulas of everything inside this palette so i'll probably be interested in picking up some future kvd beauty releases when they come up with new palettes because I was very impressed with the formulas in here and the color story and the packaging. Everything about this one was pretty great. Would I recommend them over the other palettes I have been very excited about this fall season? Probably not. Like the Natasha Denona releases, the Adept Cosmetics releases, the Pat McGrath releases, all of those still excite me more than this one but I'm definitely glad that I got this one to review because it was much better than I expected and I loved the color story and the packaging of it so much. 
I got my hair done again and this is pretty much all I have for today's video. The little $1 knickknacks from Ulta were amazing and I thoroughly enjoyed every single product I tried in today's video. I think my top two favorites were actually the products that I picked up from Tarte because they were incredible. <laughs> I know this wasn't a huge over-the-top haul, but I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to please give the video a thumbs up. Also, if you're new to my channel, please don't leave without subscribing. And if you're interested in any of the products that I tried in today's video, please shop using the links I'm leaving you down in the description box. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you back in the next one. <laughs> Bye.